Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Zutessia! We are here in my kitchen. Oh, I'm just visiting with Artemis and, of course, Bat Moth. I am so in love with Bat Moth. It is such an awesome moth. Did it just vanish? No, he's still there. I always worry that he's going to fly off one day, but however long you want to stay here, little buddy, I am happy to have you. But yes, good morning, Artemis. How are you, good kitty? I was actually coming in here to get ready for a trip to the swamp, Artemis. A trip to the swamp. And actually, hmm, we might have to make a trip to Twilight Forest pretty soon because I am starting to run very low on my gears durability. So we might make a run to Twilight Forest soon, but I was thinking, oh, we're going to a swamp. I should make wraps. For some reason, I was like, yeah, vegetarian wraps. Yay, that would be so yummy. And I realized something, guys. We have never, like if you look at the recipe, we've never gotten tomatoes. We have zip zero tomatoes inside of here. I couldn't believe it. There is not a single tomato inside the vegetable chest or the fruit chest because tomatoes are technically a fruit. So I thought, oh, I was just being witty and I put them inside of the fruit chest. But no, you guys, we've never grown a tomato. How? How? And actually, it's interesting. Tomatoes are... From what I've read, you can find like tomatoes in swamps, but that's more uncommon. They're more from an alpine berry family, I believe, Artemis. So I would love to learn about the history of the tomato, but that's one of the things. It's, you know, you know, you know what's going to happen? You know what's going to happen now? You know, you know, you know? It's going on the list. It's going on the list. At least this will be an easy one. Let's see. Should it be this list or this list? Let's see what we've gotten done. Clone Dolly the Sheep. You cannot make an infinite lava pool. So that's being changed. Expand Junior and JJ's house. Move Bob the Third to the Sun Tree. I also need to go get his mom back. <laughs> well, technically, like his sister. What the heck would Dolly the Second's relationship be to Bob the Third now? Because Dolly was the sheep that Bob's cloned embryo went into so that he could be brought back to life after being struck by lightning in a tree that was amazing and then we put the embryo into dolly so that kind of made her his adoptive mother in a way like his surrogate mom and then she died so she has no genetic relationship to bob so i'm gonna say dolly the second who is formerly <laughs> dolly the second formerly bob's surrogate mother <laughs> <laughs> is his sister we're just gonna go with sister because now that they're they're clone siblings oh my gosh but yes we are working on expanding the cougar exhibit catching a new cougar making pics all of those things and now i can add grow tomatoes because we haven't done that yet and then we're doing pretty good here we had the harvest festival no way i can check something off <gasps> thank goodness uh, wow, we actually are starting to work through some of these things. We're getting very close to, I would say, completing the storage room. I keep adding new rooms to it. That's my fault. Nice. We are actually, oh, we expanded the duck pond, you guys. We expanded the duck pond. So guess what? As soon as we put some more ducks in there, we can check that off the list too. And that's actually what we're going to do today. Because like I said, I was getting ready to go to the swamp. So we can gather up more animals, more ducks, hopefully, Artemis, and more swamp things. And I needed food. And thus, thus was the realization that we've never grown a tomato. So I, I wanted to share that with you guys. We still have a ton of the food we made at the Harvest Festival, but I kind of want to share it with Kath and Lubot. So I left it in the Village of Light, which means we need some fast travel food right now. Uh, what about carrots? What can we... They got a carrots. And people seem to love when we make food, so I'm not going to question it. We're just going to roll with it. I, don't, I would love to make soup to take to the swamp, but unfortunately we have no heavy cream. So, actually, hang on. I just realized another thing to go on the list is I'm going to call it Milkmaid Day. Uh, let's take this one. And, oh. I, that's like, kind of like the big project stuff, and Milk Made Day is not a big project. So, let's see. Milk Made Day. And that'll be where we just milk cows. We're just going to milk a cow and milk a cow and milk a cow, and we're going to have a whole chest of milk in here. <laughs> stacks and stacks and stacks of milk. It'll be a side quest where we just run around milking cows and drowning in milk, because whenever you milk a cow, if you don't have enough buckets, you drown. And we will milk those cows until we've got enough milk that we never have to worry about not having milk for cooking again, because that's what I keep running out of. And then we also need... Let's see, 
tofu because I am a vegan myself and so a lot of the cooking I do even here I try to use the tofu and meatless options and to make the tofu I don't know how you make the tofu how does how does one tofu just normal tofu tofu let's see tofu tofu uh yeast tofu is made from I don't know we're gonna have to learn. It didn't. It didn't let me know. So I'm gonna have to learn how to make tofu. But I know for sure that it's gonna need soybeans, and I don't know if we have any soybeans. So that'll be another thing. We might make a special farm. That'll be some fun meadow of the horses farming expedition stuff. Also, I still haven't gotten any food. Oh my gosh, Siri, get with it. Get with it. All right. Sorry, Artemis. I know I'm bugging you a lot. Haha, -ha, bugging as as our awesome bug splashes his wings over there. So let's go ahead and we're just going to grab, well, geez, Louise, I guess carrot juice. We're going to be healthy. We're going to be super healthy, get some good eyesight going for the dark swamp that we're going to be diving into with sunflower in just a moment. And we're going to have some carrot juice. There we go. All right, put that away. Good, good, good. Come out here. There's a beautiful butterfly. I just saw a beautiful butterfly in our garden. Where'd it go? It flew off. Did you guys see it? It was like right there and it was so pretty and I was going to take a picture and then it left. Oh, well. All right. So now I think we are ready. Lily and Tate, I'll give you guys a goodbye hug. I love you. I love you. I'll be back soon. I've got to go get some ducks and I need to go to the swamp. We've got our gear for the swamp. Um, we've got our safari nets. Let's get some safari nets ready in case we can find some ducks. I think there's actually some ducks near our bamboo forest, so we'll check that area too. And then we're going to, oh, I did have my solar skeleton sword. Durr. You guys said I did and I just didn't see it. Sorry about that. And we're gonna be out at night because Kath and Luba are actually doing some work. So we will be out at night. So we wanna make sure we are properly geared up. Let's go get sunflower and let's go do this. Also, we're gonna celebrate by tearing down this because we don't need it anymore. And I've been meaning to do that for forever. Oh, that feels good. Got to clean this up. We might have a cleanup day. That's the thing, you guys. I know we do a lot of random stuff here, but it really is daily, daily living here in Zudesia Zoo. All right, so let's go with sunflower. Wait. That's what I thought, Gate. That's what I thought. Good morning, Trinity. How are you? Sunflower! Some awesome feathers! Thank you, darling! And it's getting to be night, so what a time! Oh, it's raining! Sunflower, I am so sorry! And she's like, I don't want to fly today! Okay, okay! We just have to fly over the ravine, and then you and I can run. Because you run much faster than I do, my dear. Come on! Almost there! Ah. There we go. And then we'll just run our way, if I can get her to run. Yeah, when Kath and Lubot are on, sometimes she doesn't want to fly in certain spots, but that's okay. Now, I think there's occasionally ducks down here, and I definitely see some of the toadstools we're trying to collect. So we're going to make a quick stop, even though it's not very far. Oh, and there's salt! I'm actually out of salt! Can you believe that? We are actually out of salt, almost out of salt, in our kitchen. Oh my gosh, and there's lava there. I'm gonna have to take care of this at some point. Oh, and there's a creeper. That's fine. This is safe. I'm sure this will be fine. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. Rude. I'm gonna knock you right into the lava. Oh, there he goes. Well, I got some gunpowder. I'm gonna have to take care of this. I can't have open pits of, like, I guess we could turn this area into a hot springs. What do you guys think about that? Turning this area into a hot springs to celebrate. Oh, I guess I'm just going to have to use my silk touch pick. That stores it better, at least. To celebrate the, the panda reserve. Because this is where the panda reserve is going to be. And I guess since we've got... There we go. All this lava right here. We could turn this area into a hot springs. Can I get that? Nope. Goodbye, salt. You burn to a crisp. So we'll, we'll probably do that. We'll turn this area into a hot springs to celebrate Panda Reserve. That'll be cool. All right, and then let's pop in here. In the past, historically, this has indeed been where we have found many a duck. And we have added many a duck to our family from the Scrublands. 
I don't hear a duck. I don't see a duck. But we'll give it we'll give it a little run. See what we can find. You know, we haven't used the copper. Ooh, I like these. What are these? I need to stop though, because these are not Okay, it's a leafy devil shoestring. Look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put it back for now. I put it back. <gasps> that was so hard. Okay, there's a fox, so that indicates that there might be ducks in the area, because they do prey on those. Ooh. I heard some sort of animal. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, hey, there's a little cave over here. What? I didn't know there was this cave on my property. It's just a little one, though. Oh, I heard it! I heard it! I told you guys! <gasps> Duck! I knew there were ducks over here! I knew I wasn't mad. Alright, new duck. We have drowned many an old duck. But hopefully this will be okay. So there's one duck. Let's continue. We're duck hunting. Not very far from home either. Anything wandered out of that nether portal? No, I do hear a bear though. You want to be the next yogi? I've got several already actually. See, that's another animal I could, I could like adopt out to you guys. All right, keeping my ears open. We're duck hunting in the rain. See anything over there? A lot of foxes. So there's a lot of cool foxes over here. A few ostriches that we could probably... I want to build a really big safari zone, actually. Any ducks? Only one duck so far. Ah, much better. But I want to build a really big safari zone. Uh at what was formerly Minecraft International Zoo. Oh, it's a bird! Man, you're pretty! Oh, oh, well, I was gonna try to get it, but not right now, I guess. Alright, here's an apple tree. Ostriches, what's that? Oh my gosh! That's the, the weird little tower we built when Calf Calfers and I were first figuring out how to use the pipes and the drains and everything. Oh, that's so funny. It's been a long time since I've seen that, especially from over here. I love how we thought it was on an island and it turns out it was connected. Oh, look, it's an ostrich egg, you guys. It's a mama ostrich and her egg. Whoa, and she wants me away from her egg. We're going. Is she giving up the chase? Uh-oh, there's a werewolf. Uh-oh. Sunflower! Sunflower, darling, help, mom! Help mom escape! Thank you! Werewolves and angry, angry cousins of yours who took me looking at their egg the wrong way, Sunflower. Alright, so actually we need to work our way... Wow, I don't think we've ever really explored over here. It's not far from behind Calf's house. Uh, see, oh there's a turkey! I haven't seen turkeys in a while either. And I hear penguins? And there's a cat? There's swimming cats here? Huh. Well, Sunflower, let's figure out our way. We need to work our way over to Pine Pattern Village, actually. Because that's close to that swamp. And the swamp is more what we're going for right now. Though what might spawn in it at night in the rain may not be what we want to run into. There's some cows over here. That's good to know. Sometimes it's hard to find the cows. Not always, just sometimes. All right, Pine Pattern Village seems to be doing all right. Some kamikaze villagers staying out at night. That's fine. Still no new duck sightings. Hmm. That cat? Yeah. A few cats. That's interesting. We might have some new cats to adopt out or for villagers to adopt. What's that? Oh, zebra. There's chickens down here, though. Hmm. Oh, Sunflower, there's there's some cattails. Hang on. In you go, darling. Alright, and let me go ahead, swap this out, get this out. And then we do need these cattails. There we go. I feel slightly like something's watching me. Hmm. So far we seem to be good, though. We'll just work our way over towards that swamp. Is two ducks all we're going to get on this duck hunt? Stay away from that little ravine. Two ducks might be... Two um, the cattails. I hadn't realized how rare the cattails were, apparently. Two ducks might be the order of the day. Huh. 
Well, at least with two ducks, you can hope. There's a chicken. Where there's chickens, I would hope there'd be more ducks. There's more cats. Ooh, there's an appetite. That's a really pretty cat. I like it. We might have to do some cat days coming up pretty soon. Maybe some more dog days, too. Alright, let's come over here. Eh, true biologist fashion. Digging through. Digging through everything. Let's see. There's deer. I don't see any ducks. Why are there never ducks when you need ducks? Cows. Okay, so... We've got good gear. We're not cowards. We've explored this land for almost a whole year. Well, not this particular land. But we've been doing this for a long time, so I'm not going to be a nimby namby wimby wamby pansy And we're just going to walk right in to this swamp at night. And just start collecting swamp things like it's nobody's business. All these palmetto ferns. That's a penguin. Okay. That's, that's a baddie. That's a bad guy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm hmm Yeah, what's up? What's up? I got you. Alright, then we're gonna swap this out. Oh, look, there's another one. I guess they, they just come out of that cave. That's fine. Penguin's, like, cheering me on. He's like, Rrrr. Oh, wow, okay. No, seriously, is that, like, a spawner for them? No way, is that seriously, like, a spawner for them? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, it's a zombie spawner. Do I have any blocks? I have salt blocks. <gasps> I am legit about to block this zombie in. No joke. With salt blocks. What the heck? Okay. Well, here's a zombie spawner. In our swamp. Look, they're fighting! It's Golem on Zombie! Golem on Zombie! Oh my gosh! Golem versus Zombie, go! Zombie one! Yeah, don't bite me while I'm checking this out. <gasps> we found music discs! And it's still sword! And who knows what else? Hey, I want that ground cover back. Give that back. Uh, corn seeds, onion seeds, lettuce seeds, celery seeds. Celery! Nice! Okay. Okay, you mind your own beeswax, dude. Nothing coming down behind me. How interesting. We found another exposed spawner. A name tag, which would be useful. If we didn't normally have name tags. Alright, let's put uh, some of this stuff away. Unexpected spawn. And I have a- Oh, I stole her egg! No wonder she started attacking me. I stole that poor ostrich's egg. Well, we will have to do right by her. And her wee baby. And put her wee baby, uh, safely. Yes, I hear you guys. I kind of want that penguin, too. You know, we haven't started penguins yet. This is, this is not quite going as planned, you guys. But life rarely does. I can't believe I used salt to block those guys in. That's rather hilarious. You gotta use what resources are available to you. Oh, look, and it's a werewolf. Okay, that's fine. I blocked him in with salt, too. Oh, look, and there's more of that poison. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what a day! Well, we don't need the iron. God, I don't need to get stuck in cobwebs. So let's go ahead and wiggle our way back out. What an interesting little find that was. And I'm gonna take this penguin. Because you are one... Okay, there's two penguins. You two are kind of curious. What are you? They're Galapagos penguins! No wonder they're in the swamp area. Well, we've got two Galapagos penguins, and we're still looking. What was that noise? Oh, I think it was the werewolves yelling. Oh, fudge, werewolves. Fudge! Wrong backpack. Werewolf sword. Well, just in time. He's coming for me. A silver skeleton sword. Okay, he dropped, um, yeah, iron stuff. These deer are like, oh my gosh, what's going on? What are you doing? I don't know, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I was coming for ducks and suddenly there were zombies and golem on zombie fights and, and skeletons. <gasps> Lots of dandelions though, we always need these dandelions because you can... Okay, 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 there's enough here. I can spoil myself for a second. 
Let me just gather up a few more and get away from the very dangerous Komodo dragons. Oh, that's fine. Oh, good. It's a fire werewolf. Oh, this is fine. Fine. Uh-huh, fine. Okay, I'm on fire. That's fine. My leaves have caught on fire. Can I jump in this puddle? I think the puddle actually worked, or the rain worked. The cow is like, what are you doing? I know, all of the animals are like, really? You just show up at our home and, and act like this? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I don't have, don't have too much damage. Oh, that's fine. Oh, hi. Yeah, this- man, what the heck is up with this freaking swamp? At least I found the lily pad. <gasps> and more of those reeds! Yay! I wonder where I put those other ones. Alright, but this is what happens. I'll climb under a tree so I can do this right. This is what happens, you guys, when you have a dandelion pluff. Pluff. Poof. 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 <laughs> the pink stuff isn't supposed to happen, so I have no idea what that's about. But at least we've got some cool dandelions. I am in love with dandelions. Alright, and we'll collect. We'll get back on track looking for ducks. Of which we have not spotted any just yet. But I want to have like a little dandelion garden. That's why it's on the list. Where people can pick dandelions and like blow on them and make wishes. Because you're supposed to make dandelion wishes. That's a that's a thing you're supposed to do. Alright, there's more, more of those guys. I think I got this. Yay! We've got some proper cattails now. And let's go ahead and grab this lone lily pad. Whew! And I guess the blue hydrangeas would be kind of nice. Or do they not stack? They stack, yes! Uh, the blue hydrangeas are nice for decorating in swamp areas, too. So it looks like we were pretty on target with a lot of the things we chose to decorate with already. Using the brighter... The brighter of these ground covers. And let's go ahead. Oh, there's a turtle. I wouldn't mind a multi-species exhibit. I think we would have to fly back with the turtle on our head for that to work. I am willing to try that out. I'm also willing to throw most of this like stuff out. That has nothing to do with what we're trying to do here. So, huh. I'm willing to try that out, except I need more ducks. I thought I would find ducks in like a swamp, but I guess not. Lots of palmetto ferns. That makes me happy. I love the ferns. There we go. What's going on? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, sheep sheep. Don't push me in, okay? I won't push you in. You don't push me in. What's going on down here? Hmm? Hmm? Hmm, interesting. And then, ooh, good. There's more, more reeds! We need more reeds! And more cattails! I see more cattails. So that's good, at least. And there's some sort of something over here. I wonder what kind of biome this is. Hmm. Oh, good, and there's more of those cattails, too. Yay! So we're starting to make some progress, but holy moly, it's just not stopping with this rain. Oh my gosh. Whew! But alright, guys. The adventures begin. The adventures continue. And we are going to continue exploring this area. And hopefully not getting eaten. That was kind of amazing. Golem and golem violence. We've got a couple Galapagos penguins. So those are actually more tropical penguins. Ish. Ish. They're like not the Arctic sort of penguins. So, or the Antarctic, I should say. Not Arctic. There are no Arctic penguins. Ah, oh, dear me. But that was very interesting. We snagged ourselves some celery seeds, at least. And we've got a good start. Good start to gathering more stuff for the duck pond. I did not expect it to take this long just to get some of the basics. Oh, my goodness. So we are on the hunt for more ducks and more wetlands plants tomorrow. And we'll have to see what other awesome surprises we stumble on. So I will see you guys there. Bye-bye.